This program is made by the volunteers at Math Circle Online. Please join us to explore the wonders of math. In this video, we will be taking a look at the 2015 AMC 10A problem number 15. The problem says that consider the set of all fractions x over y, where x and y are relatively prime positive integers. How many of these fractions have the property that if both numerator and denominator are increased by 1, the value of the fraction is increased by 10%. Okay, so we can start off by creating a, an equation with the information that we are given. So the fraction x over y is relatively prime to each other. And when the values are added with 1, it creates uh, a value, a fraction that is 10% greater than what it was. So this can be translated into 11 over 10 times x over y. Since 11 over 10 is equal to 1.1, which would be the fraction times 10% more of itself. And this would be equal to... Now we can cross multiply and then combine like terms. So in doing so, we would get 10y times x plus 1 is equal to 11x times y plus 1. And simple, or actually, um, Expanding 10xy plus 10y equals to 11xy plus 11x. So now we can just combine like terms and then figure out something from there. So this would be equal to xy plus 11x minus 10y equals zero. And then now we can factor out um, terms and create something like this. So it would be x minus well, action. So from this we can see that we will try to pair up uh, numbers or, or plug them in for x and y and try to find the pairs of numbers that work uh, for this equation. And the ones that work are negative 1, 1, 10, negative 2, 55, and negative 522. Keep in mind, x and y still have to be relatively prime, and they still there's non-negative. So some of these will there might be more, but these uh, those won't work. And some of these will actually work either, since we haven't applied the relatively um, uh, relatively prime uh, fa uh, factor into it. So. If we plug these in for the values, so x minus 10 has to equal negative 11 for this pair, which would mean that x would equal 9, and that y would equal 99. So as you can see, these aren't relatively prime, which means that this pair doesn't work. And so for the next one, x would be equal to 8, and y would be equal to 44. These two are also not like, relatively prime, so this also doesn't work. And for the last one, x would equal 5, and y would equal 11. So from this, 
5 and 11 are both prime numbers, which means that they would both have to be relatively prime. Which means that this is the only solution that would work for us. So giving us the final, this would give us the final answer of 1.